This episode of the Demonic Compendium contains spoilers for the following games. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome to a petrifying new episode of the Demonic Compendium, the show where I discuss the mythology, design, and game history of your favorite Megami Tensei demons. With the winter cold upon us, sometimes it feels like I can't move a muscle, and there's only one demon I can blame for that. So avoid eye contact and try not to ruffle any feathers, because today, we're talking about Basilisk. The Basilisk is a very common creature, found in many European bestiaries, and was often described as a small reptile that naturally exuded powerful poisons, capable of killing plants, animals, and even people just by being around them. I'll get this out of the way now that many elements of the Basilisk lore, including many artistic depictions of it, match up with another creature, the Cockatrice, which has similar powers and abilities, but usually more closely resembles a chicken. However, my goal today is to focus primarily on the Basilisk itself, maybe I'll cover the Cockatrice another day. The Basilisk name stems from the ancient Greek word Basiliskos, which can roughly translate as Little King, which is one of the reasons why Basilisks are sometimes known as the King of Lizards or Snakes. One of the earliest written sources of the Basilisk is in Pliny the Elder's Naturalis Historia, one of the oldest surviving works of Roman literature. Pliny described the mythical creature's venomous capabilities by saying, it destroys all shrubs, not only by its contact, but those even it has breathed upon. It burns up all the grass too, and breaks the stones, so tremendous is its noxious influence. It was formerly a general belief that if a man on horseback killed one of these animals with a spear, the poison would run up the weapon and kill not only the rider, but the horse as well. By looking back on where Pliny believed these creatures came from, the emphasis on their poison, and their aversion to weasels, many historians believe that the inspiration for much of the basilisk lore stemmed from Roman introduction to certain types of snakes like cobras. Basilisk's compendium entry from Soul Hackers 2 refers to it as a dark dragon from northern Africa marked by wings and a crested crown. Its name means King of Snakes, and both its breath and gaze are so toxic that they instantly kill any human or animal unfortunate enough to be subjected to them. The Basilisk entries claiming that they come from North Africa once again harkens back to Pliny's text, which claims they came from the province of Cyrene, a Greek city in Northern Africa in the area that would eventually become Libya, which is where Basilisk Shin Megami Tensei 1 compendium claims it's from. Design-wise, there are two main Kaneko depictions of Basilisk. Normally when this happens, it's usually like one that we see in the vast majority of games, and the other one is like, oh yeah, he made this one for the original Devil Summoner and we haven't seen it since then, but honestly here, both have pretty good representation. Sort of. The one a lot more people are probably aware of is essentially just a palette swap of the Cockatrice design which makes sense given the similarities in their mythology and how frequently they are compared to one another. It's a nice combination between a chicken and a dragon, but I'll confess I associate this design more with Cockatrice than Basilisk. The other design is the one that I think better fits this particular demon. It's a mostly yellow and black lizard that I assume Kaneko based on the actual Basilisk lizard, a real animal famous for running on its hind legs across water. The color scheme and pattern seems to draw from aposmatism, which is a real aspect of nature where animals will use bright colors to warn predators that they're poisonous or venomous. Yellow and black is a common color scheme, with poison dart frogs, snakes, lizards, and salamanders, so it's a really fitting and nice use of color and design for the basilisk that I personally really like. Even Basilisk's Demikid's design is basically just a more cartoony looking version of the second Kaneko design. And yet, as of the time of making this video, the Aposmatic design has yet to appear as a 3D model. The franchise mostly uses the Lizard in games with 2D demons, like Strange Journey, the SMT4 duology, and Devil Survivor. I understood using the 3D Cockatrice model palette swap in games where both demons appeared, like Shin Megami Tensei Imagine, or other games of the era, like King of Adden, but I feel like when they had to make new models anyway for games like SMT5 or Soul Hackers 2, I'd have rather seen the lizard over the chicken. What do you all think? Which basilisk design do you prefer? As far as game history goes, this big blue chicken is a surprisingly frequent partner of major characters, some of whom you might not expect. 
Basilisk had a role in the franchise as far back as Megami Tensei 2, where it was already a palette swap of Cockatrice. What's sort of interesting is that in this game, Basilisk was the pink one and Cockatrice was blue. They swapped colors in the original Shin Megami Tensei. Basilisk has a small role as a boss battle in Shin Megami Tensei 2. Aleph has to hunt down the blue beast around Holy Town with the venomous chicken dragon occasionally spewing poison and running away before you're actually able to defeat it. While Basilisk's more lizard-like design hasn't had a 3D model yet, it does appear in the search action side game Shin Megami Tensei Synchronicity Prologue as an enemy roaming around the fourth block. Basilisk appears in Tokyo Mirage Session Sharp FE in the form of the Basilikos axe wielded by Mamari Minamoto. Of course, this one isn't a chicken or a lizard, it's actually an elephant, and is really just a less interesting looking version of the Giri Mekala axe. In fact, it's arguably not even meant to be Basilisk, but Basilikos can translate as royal, meaning it's more that they have the same root words. In Persona Q, Shadow of the Labyrinth, Elizabeth gives players the request, Time to Test Your Skills, where they must fight a version of the elevator attendant who uses Basilisk as her primary persona. She even opens the battle by referring to your characters as chickens, possibly in reference to Basilisk's design. Defeating her rewards you with the Rock Dragon Wing, allowing you to fuse Basilisk, who in this game was a member of the Devil Arcana, but the Sun Arcana in the sequel. In Soul Hackers 2, Basilisk is one of Ash's demons when you fight her on Subway Line 14. Lilim definitely made a lot more sense for this character, but I ain't gonna fault her for also wielding the giant chicken. Speaking of that series, Basilisk has a couple of roles in Devil Summoner 2, Raido Kuzunoha vs. King Abaddon. For starters, Basilisk is one of the demon partners of Garen Kuzunoha the 17th, and that's three major characters in a row that use Basilisk, which makes it a turkey. Oh wait, it, it's a chicken. Uh, Yakuza Zero joke. But Basilisk's larger role in that game is as an antagonist in the case file Cursed House. Raido learns about a specific house where people who stay in it suffer from mysterious illnesses. After a bit of investigating leads him to finding giant bird footprints on the ground, Raido engages with a frantic chicken who reveals itself to be Basilisk, who doesn't care that its poisonous aura is making people sick. So we have to defeat it where it gives a choice between two treasure chests and we're contractually obligated to forgive it. And so there you have it, Basilisk, the deadly diminutive dragon dutifully dressed up in deceptive diadem. Did I leave out something you thought was important? Was I just plain wrong about something? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to let me know who you'd like to see me talk about in future episodes. That's going to do it for this episode of the Demonic Compendium and I will see you next time. But be careful while you rest that a demon doesn't take over your body.